Beautiful people, my name is Rick Lee, reported live from New York City. Um, I can't do this in 10, 15 seconds, Robert. I'm gonna give you a long segment, you just chop it up as you wish, all right? So Robert asked me to do a quick testimonial about these singing bull sessions that I had uh, at his house a couple months ago. And to be quite honest with you, man, I had no idea what these were. <laughs> you know, coincidentally, I was just in my cousin's neighborhood. I think I had Korean barbecue that day. And I had to use the restroom. I was like, yo, Robert, could I come through real quick, man? It's an emergency. I need to use the bathroom. He was like, sure, Hyung, you know, come through, come through. I run to the basement. I go to the restroom, do my thing. And when I step out, this dude was already in the seat. Legs crossed like a doctor, like, Rick, uh, let me get a moment of your time. I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I already knew he was doing the whole meditation, human activation prep. Super proud of him and being the good cousin that I am. I wanted to encourage him. You know, I, I wanted to give it a whirl see what he got I don't want to shut him down So I sat down. He's like Rick. Can I get 10 minutes of your time? I was like, yeah, dude You get 10 minutes of my time. He goes Rick. Could you turn off your cell phone? I was like turn off my cell phone All right, see now that now that's a little too much and I was reluctant about it. You know, what I mean But uh, he was like Rick trust me. Yeah, trust me So I do it and right then and there, you know, so starting from this point, everything I say could sound like a sale point. But this is true. This is where the testimony begins. Starting right there, just uh, disconnecting myself from my cell phone, taking away that connection, you know. I realized that there was this release of tension from my body that I didn't even realize I had, you know. I was so reliant on this technology at my fingertips. That just that dedication, the willingness to take 10 minutes away from status updates, notifications, Instagram likes, calls, whatever, text messages. That action within itself, I felt this uh, freedom that I haven't felt in a while. And then I close my eyes and that's when he starts the session. And mind you, I'm an overthinker. I think a lot. I don't know how to silence my mind like that. So... In my mind, what I was thinking was, okay, what's gonna happen? What's this, is this like a immediate feeling? Do I, you know, I was, I had all these expectations. And through his gentle guidance and his very, I don't know how to say it, it was, it was so um, comforting the way that he approached this whole procedure. I just let myself go, you know, come what may type of feeling. I had no expectations. I wasn't looking for flaws. I wasn't looking for, instant gratification I just I just sat there in silence and awaited for what was to come and it starts off with a very very light sound that's emitted from the bulls go ahead sir yeah and it was just this comfort that I felt right away I don't know what it was maybe it was the uh, resounding sound that was emitted from the bulls but it broke down a lot of this stress, immediate stress relief. Um, I guess similar to hearing like a, a choir or a nice instrument that's playing in unison, in harmony. Uh, this is binaural waves just hitting me simultaneously, panning left to right. It started breaking down this like, kind of like when you get a foot massage, it breaks down calcium deposits in your foot. It started breaking down this stress, all this, um, weight and burden that I had on my shoulders and on my mind it started just crumbling started disrupting all that and that's when I was like whoa this is like a brain massage and I was in that, in that moment I realized yo this is like a, 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 a treat so I let myself just go you know I kind of lean back rest in my head because uh, I was like yo 10 minutes this is like this is the greatest foot rub I'm gonna get and with no speaking he would just I mean, I, I had my eyes closed, so I don't know exactly what he was doing, but he had multiple bowls, you know, different sizes, meaning different tones, different pitches. And his expertise in this, uh, in this procedure, not only did it relieve stress for me, thank you, not only did it relieve stress for me, but it, uh, it reminded me what it was like to meditate in complete silence and enjoy um, the moment. It's very cliche, you know, the phrase like, you know, slow down and smell the roses or slow down and smell the coffee. Like I know it's, we say that so often that the meaning gets diluted, but at that moment I realized 
I need to start thinking about the moments of time in between my thoughts. I think what I'm trying to say is these singing bowls taught me and trained me how to really meditate, how to really sit in silence and distance myself from the, the, uh, the stresses of the world or the worries of the world, but enjoy and, and, and uh, envelop myself in the now, my spirit and my soul in unison in the now. I sound like one of those weirdos, but that's exactly how I felt. And mind you, like, I did not know anything about singing bowls before this at all. But um, now that I can't stop, I can't stop talking about it. You know, I tell all my friends, you should at least try it once. And when I read little articles about how corporate offices are now introducing singing bowls to the table, it makes perfect sense. You know, I don't see why someone wouldn't do this before meetings or huge decisions to make. My hair needs singing bowls right now. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this because I'm getting paid or because Robert is asking for a favor. Like, he asked me to do a testimonial, and I was like, of course. You know, if I find something that is blessing, that's a blessing in my life, I want, naturally I want to share it and spread the news to the world. It changed my life, you know. And ever since then, I'm not going to say that I light candles and sit in a Indian style and, and meditate every day. But I am reminded every day, you know, the... The little pockets of time that I have to myself, whether it's on the train or, you know, on a bus or a cab, I remember kind of like the experience that I had on Robert's couch that day with the singing bowls. And I remember to breathe deep, to think about myself, not as just a person that's trying to work through life, but as an entity that is connected to everything in this world. And to this day, I thank my cousin for, you know, making me turn on my phone and sit there for 10 minutes. He not only humbled me and taught me something new, but he reminded me like, yo, Hyung, like Rick, things are not as bad as it seems and you control your own energy. And that's pretty much what the singing bowls did for me. So thank you for hearing me out. I know that wasn't 15 seconds, but I hope you could use that, Robert. Right, peace.